Hey everyone, time for another episode of Day in Life of Vintage Classic Specialists. It's a Monday, the last Monday of October. Not sure how that's possible, but here we are. So let's see what happened today in the shop. So Rafa was working pretty much all day on the beautiful diamond blue EV Beetle. And haters, keep your comments to yourself. If you don't like it, move on. But yes, it's an EV. Yes, we took a car that was a complete pile of crap and did a high-end restoration on it that happened to include making it an EV. So there you go. Anyhow, moving on. So today, basically, he worked on the interior. So went ahead and installed the driver's side seat. So the interior in this car is all upholstered in genuine leather and with obviously a custom pattern that we had we decided to go with basically biscuits uh, biscuit pattern on it these are old recaro pro seat uh pro car seats that we deleted the headrest on so they looked more appropriate headrests um, look a little weird in beetles so we got rid of them but anyway yeah so the back seat went in and the driver's seat um the passenger seat hasn't gone on yet because we actually have to make a piece so this cover piece right here was missing from the passenger seat and so rafa spent part of today making something to uh, to cover that and then i think what we're going to do is is cover uh that one that he made and this one uh in vinyl so that they match or maybe leather i think we have some more of this leather left um yeah, so they go together. I did call up Scat, um, and they don't make these seats or have any parts for these seats anymore. So pretty much had to make something because underneath there, it's just like metal and uh, part of the mechanism you can see. It's super ugly. We didn't want to leave it uncovered. So Rafa to the rescue. He fabbed up something, and uh, I'll show that at a later date. Um, yeah, because this is what it looks like uncovered. Super ugly, needs a cover, so we made one. Anyhow, so he did that, and then um, I think he had a little bit more to do to finish uh, bolting the battery in underneath the back seat there. We are going to have to have our upholstery guy, uh, who is not Octavio. It's a different guy that we use, whose work I'd say is equally good. Um, he's going to have to come back out and address this rear seat because... It's a little chubby and it won't actually go back far enough to go down into the uh, the rail that it sits on. So either either the bottom of the seat is a little too fat or the bottom of the backrest is too fat. But basically the bottom of the seat won't slide back far enough for this thing to drop down into this rail that it's supposed to sit, sit in. This thing should drop down in here. This rail has a lip on it where it'll go up to about like there and this will sit down in it. It ain't going. We pushed pretty hard and not going. So no big deal, he'll come out and he'll fix it and it'll look bitchy. So there you go. That is mainly what Mr. Rafa was up to today. So me, um, I'm still pretty focused on the beautiful 68 double cab. Still focused on the dash area here. So let's see what I did. More wiring. These things do have a lot of wires on them, but the wiring is pretty much done. I do want to go and tidy it up a little bit. There's so many wires in here. It's hard to make everything look beautiful, but I'm going to go back in and uh, tidy some things up a little bit. A few, few areas I'm not happy with, but uh, we'll get it looking better. And then all the wires that are sort of have hanging out here, those are all going to plug into the, uh, the gauge pod and, and be uh, back in there. But everything else, um, I'm going to organize some of these wires a little bit better and stuff like that. So, yeah, it'll, it'll look better in there. Um, but I added the brake light harness today, wired it up, added the wiper switch today, wired it up, and uh, some other little uh, remaining wires that needed to be added here and there. Also ordered the retro sound radio today. I do have a uh, faceplate that uh, Leo happened to have kind of a spare, and it turned out it's perfect for this. It's kind of angled, which is good because since the dash is at an angle, uh, this particular faceplate will kind of like level out the radio a little bit, which I think is going to look really good. 
and the black and chrome looks perfect here. So ordered that radio today. It'll probably be here, I don't know, maybe midweek or so, late this week. And it'll go in, and then after that, the gauge pod uh, will go in, all this stuff will get connected, and uh, this will be done. So the other big thing that I did on the front of this today was to put in the actual dash vents. So there's these big kind of like V-shaped things that connect underneath these to the various duct work and so on. And so I went ahead and put those in and screwed the covers onto them, which also help retain those things. Uh, these covers I had powder coated previously, so they look they look nice. So yeah, and then also, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, I went ahead and bolted the dash, so you can see some screws along here. Went ahead and bolted the, the top of the dash to the nose of the bus. So yeah, the dash is pretty much in. I do have to go back and finish bolting it on on the ends. And then there are trim pieces uh, like that that'll go in there, kind of clean that up. And I need to find, um, find appropriate looking hardware right now. I just have hex bolts in there, but I'll find something that looks better and put those in and then that'll look super nice. But yeah, the front of this thing is just about done. Um, I still need to connect the controls, which you see those green levers right there. Those still need to be connected up underneath there to their respective things that they control. Probably do that tomorrow. And then uh, this bus is going to get air conditioning, so I'll probably go ahead and order that. And then we may go ahead and fit that. That'll kind of sit up underneath here approximately so might as well get that and get that underway as well um, so yeah this thing is moving right along now finally this dash was really holding us up but now that we got it back uh, we're really moving right along on this thing other than that uh, Jacob did come in today and what Jacob did was he finished pulling the motor on the uh, 63 rag top um, so last, uh, Friday, I think it was, he had the motor prepared to pull out. So he disconnected all the wires and all the stuff that would be in the way of pulling it. And then today pretty much came in and undid the four uh, pieces of hardware that hold it together, uh, pulled off the breastplate here and yeah, came out without too much drama, you know? Um, and then he also, let's see. He also went ahead and almost finished stripping the motor down. So only thing left to take off of it are the heater boxes, which, you know, are just two nuts on each side and a little tinware up underneath there. So yeah, this motor is gonna be ready to go over to Brian Roth pretty soon at Roth Vintage. We'll have him go ahead and disassemble it and build this up into a 1385 40 horse for us. And so yeah, we'll go ahead and get that process going. And then I think tomorrow when Jacob comes in in the afternoon, I'm probably going to have him go ahead and, and pull the transmission and then that'll go to our transmission guy. So yeah, really getting moving on this thing here. It just came in on, I think, Thursday and by, you know, earlier mid this week, it's motor and transmission should both be off getting rebuilt. So yeah, I like to keep things moving around here. Um, this didn't really have anything happen to it today, although we did order a few things that we need to bolt it to the pan, like the panda body seal. And we spent a bit of time gawking at it and admiring how unbelievably awesome it looks. Um, yeah, I can't get enough of this thing. This paint job just blows my mind. So anyhow, that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching very much. And if you haven't done so already and you like our content, please subscribe to our channel. We will see you guys again tomorrow. Thanks.